Begin tonight, though, with that nasty hailstorm that blew through North Texas. Woke a lot of people up. Thousands of homes and vehicles have been hit hard. Windows smashed, homes damaged, families with some pretty wild stories to tell. Yona Gavino, live in Carrollton, where the cleanup process is underway. Yona? There is significant damage dug in this neighborhood. Nearly every car and home, including this one, damaged. And these repairs are keeping both contractors and residents busy. It was the kind of storm Doug Ennis knew was bad just from the sound. And I could hear the glass breaking, and uh, it sounded like there were a bunch of baseball players on the roof hitting with their bats. It was that loud. Doug showed us the damage left behind. You know, some dings and damage, like paint knocked off up here. Broken windows patched up with cardboard and shattered glass. You can see the damage of the carport. It's knocked this piece of trim down, this back piece completely on the ground here. He froze some of the golf ball and baseball sized hail that caused the mess. He showed me some photographs, including d indentations in the shingles, and one of them was as big as your fist. Rico Chazaretta is a roofer and contractor who was called out to the neighborhood this morning. It definitely surprised me. I haven't seen damage this big ever. Each house, you're probably looking at, you know, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in damage per house. You know, plus their auto damage as well. He says, watch out for bad contractors who go into neighborhoods after storms. Rico advises, don't pay before work is completed. Check the company's website and online reviews, and check for any issues with the Better Business Bureau. And Rico also expects to be checking damage on more than two dozen roofs by the end of the day. And you can imagine that work is going to be keeping him especially busy for the next several weeks, he says. Live in Carrollton, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News. Yona, you know, thanks so much. And the number here, 425 million bucks. That is what the Insurance Council of Texas believes the storm is going to cost ultimately. An estimated 20,000 homes and 25,000 vehicles were damaged. Insurance agents and adjusters will likely be inundated with claims. So if you got to make a call, it's probably going to take a while. Home and vehicle owners urged to document any damage. Make sure to take video and also take pictures.